Hi, I'm Rebecca and I make healthy routine vlogs, but just like you guys, not everything is perfect 100% of the time. I procrastinate, I make excuses for myself, and sometimes I wake up late like really late 12 40. the night before i literally told myself i was going to have such an amazing 5 a.m a productive day in my life hi guys tomorrow i'm gonna wake up and i'm aiming to have one of the most productive days that i will have had in a long time but we all know that did not happen i know i'm not the only one that this happens to and most of the time when we have a bad morning or a bad week or a bad day what do we tend to think let's just give up and start over tomorrow or or start over next year but what would happen if we didn't just give up and try to finish everything that we had to do in the time that we have left so today let's try to rescue a half wasted day together i feel like when things like this happen what helps is to continue with my regular morning routine as if <laughs> everything's normal but my morning routine really helps me to just know that okay it's time to get started with our days enough sitting in bed scrolling on my phone enough being tired and all that the first thing to rescue a half-wasted day is to go through our morning routines because even though the morning has already gone by, there's no better way to put ourselves in a healthy and productive headspace than to wash our faces, do our skincare, brush our teeth, and put some clothes on exactly as if we'd woken up when we wanted ourselves to. When we're feeling tired and lazy and discouraged, sometimes we just have to trick ourselves into thinking that everything is going to plan. And it's not just me who thinks this. Studies show that having wake up tasks like being in a morning routine can help you start being productive faster and escape from sleep inertia, which is that feeling of fatigue and drowsiness that can sometimes last for hours after you wake. The next step is to just start working. It can be very easy to fall into a trap where we think that we've turned our day around just because we did something that made us feel better, even though we haven't actually gotten anything done yet. So if you've finished your morning routine and already feel way better than you did when you woke up, don't let that positive energy and motivation go to waste. I am so starving right now. So before I start anything, I have to make myself a good, a huge, wholesome breakfast. And if you're feeling more lazy than usual, that's okay. Just start by whatever you want to do. Don't worry about choosing the hardest task or even the most urgent. The most important thing is to build a bit of positive momentum that you can carry forward into the rest of your day. And the easiest way to do that is to just get something productive done, no matter how difficult or significant. That's why I'm gonna start today by by having breakfast and making my to-do list because I know once I'm finished, I'll have the right mindset to sit down and do the rest of my work. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then let's make our to-do list and get started with our stuff for the day. I'm gonna clean up my desk a little bit too and once that done, go through my notes and calendar and make sure that everything is planned out for the next week. Hey guys, let's get started. I know that there's one thing I absolutely have to finish today and that's editing. Editing is never the most enjoyable thing to do, but it always has to get done. Today though, editing was particularly hard. The video was taking forever and I was getting frustrated, but I knew that I had to finish it by the end of the day and if I waited any longer, it just wasn't going to happen. Honestly, sometimes it gets really hard. After a long week of work, the last thing that I want to do is sit for another 10 hours on the weekend to edit a video, but I just have to go back and remember the goals that I want to achieve and the life that I know I can provide for myself. It's either now or never, so I sat back at my desk and for the next few hours really grinded it out until I was finished. Out of place, out of focus, all these sweet little moments with you. It is about four hours later and I'm finally done. 
all of the stuff that I have to do. I just need to do some last final touches and I can relax a little bit. If it stands in the rain, spend the nights, the days to stay in the all the things that I do. Guys, it is a couple hours later and I know that I'm all comfy in my pajamas, but I, but I told myself that I would work out today, so that is what we're going to be doing. It is just before 9 p.m. and I want to get to bed before 11, so let's start right now. <laughs> Now that I finished my editing, I feel pretty happy with myself. The most difficult hurdle is out of the way and I know that at the very least, I won't go to sleep feeling like I wasted the entire day. But I also know that I can do more and while I might be really tired and feel like taking a nap, if I can make myself go to the gym, I'll definitely be happier with myself. Not just that, I'll have an easier time going to sleep at a reasonable time tonight, which is the best way I can set myself up to have another good and productive day tomorrow. So with that in mind, Mind, I drag myself into my closet, put on my workout outfit, and get ready to head to the gym. And this is actually a pretty important part of building a consistent workout habit. There's an interesting study which shows that a regular preparation practice, like putting your workout clothes on, filling your water bottle, putting your gear in your bag, as well as just a scheduled start time, is a key predictor in long-term consistency. It doesn't really matter what your routine is, just make sure that you have one. Just like most things, the hardest part about working out is starting. I know that once I get going in my flow of exercises, I'll find all the motion I need to finish them. So I make sure not to waste too much time talking myself out of it first and just get started on my first set right away. All right, guys, I'm back from my workout of the day. I honestly did not even finish it, and I feel like I was moving in slow motion, but that's okay. At least I got some of it done. Now I'm going to take a nice shower before heading back in my pajamas and going to bed and preparing for tomorrow, which is Monday. However much time you've wasted, whether it's hours, days, months, or even years, know that the best and only thing you can do for yourself is to start over. Every moment is a new opportunity to begin again and to recognize that the past is only ever in our heads. It can only impact our futures if we allow it to, but if instead we put it behind us and just ask ourselves, starting now in this very moment, what can we do to work towards our best self, then the past is powerless. Right now it is is 10 11 p.m. and I'm so happy to say that I completed everything that I planned to complete today even though I did wake up at 12 30 p.m. <laughs> when I anticipated waking up at 5 a.m. I mean not everything is done perfectly for example I didn't work out my entire workout routine today but I did finish the stuff that was high priority that was due tomorrow and I'm proud of myself for that so I hope that this video gave you a lot of hope that just because things did not go as planned doesn't mean that the whole day has to be ruined so i hope that you take this mindset with you guys in the future whenever things don't go as planned and i will see you guys next time bye